again. Welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger, and this is your energy forecast for not only today, Sunday, September 7th, but the entire week all the way through next Saturday, which is the 13th. So I'll be pulling one card per day and talking about it, also talking about the numerology, all as a recipe for you for the days. So first of all, I'm very excited. Yesterday I taped and I finally posted my first of the Intuitive Messenger Messenger channel interview series. That's a tough one. That's a mouthful. So Bill Taro joined me for coffee yesterday and we talked about his dynamic spreads deck. So if you didn't see that video, look at yesterday's video. It's about a 17 minute video. He talks about the creation. He talks about how the Bill Clinton spread, which is an example in his book came out um, from that. So I'm very excited. There will be many, many more of those. Um, I've got lots of people who I've had on my my personal, um, the Intuitive Messenger uh, radio, blog talk radio show in the past. I have them listed still, and I will probably call them and see if they want to join me when they got something special going on um, or just to talk and teach. So it's going to be a cool interview series, but mostly it's interview. So, so there we go. So Today, let's start off with, we're going to go one day at a time. I've got my cards in front of me. Um, I've got my my new uh, Terra of the New Vision deck because I'm going to use it as a quick teaching tool at the end. But first of all, I'm going to pull one card for each day, give an overview, and then go back and touch on each of the days. So, um, And this is kind of what I'm going to do when I'm on vacation. I'm going to do like 12 or 13 days out because I'm going to be gone from uh, the 18th of September until October 2nd. Um, so I won't be doing any posting while I'm in Madrid, Spain, Barcelona, Alicante, um, somewhere else. I can't remember. <laughs> Fabian's has got all those names written down. So shuffled, cut the cards, putting them down. So for today, Sunday, the card that is going to go along with today is the wheel card. So I'm just going to pull the cards and then talk about them and go back individual day. For Monday, High Priestess, love it. For Tuesday, it's going to be the Ace of Wands. If you're doing development, you know to pause. <laughs> For Wednesday, it's going to be the Nine of Coins. Beautiful, beautiful. For Thursday, it is the Magician. Wow, I like this where we're going. Magician. So that is Thursday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. For Friday, ooh, Tower Card on Friday. Very interesting day. A lot of changes. And for next Saturday, we've got the King of Swords. So a quick glance over the week. Starting off this day Sunday, wheel card, lots of choices we're facing. High Priestess, use that intuition to, you know, find out where you want to start because the next card is the Ace of Wands. It's definitely probably going to be more spiritual, creative, or sexual in nature because of that. And it's going to lead to, I feel like, a great um, financial abundance, home life, using that Nine of Coins. And then after that, you're realizing, wow, okay, magician, I do have everything I need within me. Um, but with that and that creation, sometimes it brings about a complete wiping clean of the slate, which is that tower card next Friday. And then following that, the king of swords, which it feels like after we have that tower card, you move up into your head a little bit more and there are no cups in this spread. So it's probably a great day to be very logical um, or a great week to actually think a little bit more logical than from your heart or your emotions. Um, so a very interesting week, but I like how Wednesday is kind of a nice kind of a peak uh, moving into Friday, preparing you for that wiping clean of the slate, shifting, changing, moving by the end of the week. So all that being said, and also, oh, I love it. The High Priestess falls on Monday, which is um, our the, the full moon comes on Monday. So taking a little step back um, for Sunday, the day is the seventh day of the month. Seven is that chariot energy. It's quick. It's moving. It's fast. It's often polarized. All the numbers added up uh, equal 23, which is also five because two plus three is five. That is our faith card here font, Pope. Once again, we're dealing with kind of our dogma, our religion, our belief system, authority. And then the card for that is the wheel card. So we've got lots of choices going on that day. And the wheel card, wheel, um, wheel of fortune, where sometimes we're just spinning, spinning, spinning. We don't know how to get off the, the wheel to pick something, which I think is what the seven is going to help you do is get off that chariot energy. Get off. It's probably, like I said, um, more spiritual in nature, which is why that five number is popping up. 
Stepping into Monday, which is the eighth day, eighth day, that is our strength card. That's double fours. That is a very powerful, feminine, receptive number, but it's also strong, quiet strength. And I love the imagery on that card. Usually it's a woman taming a, um, a, a lion uh, or a tiger. Um, in my deck, she's, it's like a Nubian princess touching the forehead of three big giant prairie cats. Um, so, and then Monday, the card to go with it is that high priestess. Oh, I skipped over the, the actual all number, the addition of all the numbers. So Monday, add all the numbers up, you get number six, which is the lover's card. Unions, um, contracts coming together, twin flames, soul contracts, and, and lovers, just, you know, relationship. So strength card, lover card, and the high priestess. You know, all these put together, trust your intuition, um, think with wisdom, with knowledge about the relationships and how they have strengthened you. Moving into Tuesday, that is the ninth day, that is our hermit card. So it's a great time to turn inward, get introspective. All the numbers add up to 25, which is seven, which is back to that chariot energy, which is echoing once again, this um, ace of wands that I pulled for that day. So hermit time, get internal, ace of wands, new creative, spiritual, sexual um, uh, beginning and start. And it's going to happen quick and fast with this seven card, which is that chariot. Stepping into Wednesday this week, which is the 10th day. 10 is our wheel card. So here we are back at that wheel energy we pulled on Sunday. And that also boils down to number one, which is magician, which that's tomorrow's card. Um, and then all the numbers added up give you 17, which is the star card, rebuilding hope. That also equals number eight, which is strength, which we had on Monday. And then the card that I did just pull for Wednesday is the nine of coins. And that is all about, that is all about, um, I need to pull this up. That is all about this beautiful, that's my signification when I add the cards back in. All about this beautiful home life. It's abundant. It's wonderful. So lots of parallels going back and forth from day to day. It's like this week is all layered and layered and layered. Moving into Thursday, it is the 11th day of the month. That is, um, and it's a it's a powerful day for our country. Period. 911. So it's the 11th day. It's a very spiritual, powerful number. 11s for me are the master number of more creativity, spirituality, sexuality fantasy, um, just the, the ones is what that kind of boils down for me. But 11 also boils down to number two, which is High Priestess, which we had on Monday. Again, layers, overlapping, repeating. And all the numbers add up to 18, which is the moon card, which is what we have on Monday, a full moon, you know, echoing back to that day. Um, the 18, it's interesting because I just heard Spirit say something pretty powerful is going to happen on Monday with that full moon. Something pretty powerful echoing back. So feels heavy, feels dense. We're going to hold on to that feeling and keep the uh, globe and the earth um, lifted high up. Last time I had this feeling, it was not a pretty picture. Um, so hold the earth up, especially today and tomorrow through this full moon process. I think we need it. So that 18 moon card, energy, introspective. Also 18 bulls down to number nine. What is that hermit? We just had that on Tuesday. So here we are once again, back and forth, back and forth, reflecting. It's almost like the sliding doors or Groundhog's Day. We're repeating, repeating, layers, layers. Um, and the card I pulled for Thursday is the magician and that magician card once again number one you have everything you need within you all your tools and i'm going to utilize that card in just a moment for my lesson for today um so just keep in mind you've got it all within you whatever happens externally you know they, they can't steal your joy they can't or your peace unless you allow them it's something my mom always used to say you can't let them steal your joy you can't let them steal your peace and i think rose um, eleanor roosevelt my mom used to say it but she didn't know where it came from i don't believe but she said no one can intimidate you unless you give them permission <laughs> you give it up so friday is the 12th day of the month 12 is our hangman kind of feeling stuck sometimes i feel that with the wheel card um, but also the hangman 12 boils down to three, which is empress, births, beginning, starts, mother earth, Gaia, just plentiful abundance. And all the numbers added up that day give you 19, which is sun card, which is about beginnings, births, start shining the light on things, just looking at things from a fresh perspective. And you add nine, 
plus one from 19, you're going to get 10, which echoes back to Wednesday. The wheel card, which echoes back to Monday. Echo, 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 layer, layer, layer. And again, 10 boils down to one, which is magician, which we had yesterday, which we had on Wednesday. So again, layers, layers, layers. It's almost like this week we are going to be so confused what day it is. Just going to be so confused. And then, of course, I pulled the tower card for Friday. <clears throat> so a lot of changes. Um, it's almost and the word confusion keeps popping up for that day as well. So um, Friday, you know, hangman, hanging time, empress, sun card, wheel card, magician card, then the tarot, um, the tower, the tower card. And then all the way into Saturday, which is the 13th day of the month, that is the death card. That is endings, bringing things to a close, which is also about new beginnings as well. 13. If you add those numbers up, it gives you number four. Which, interestingly enough, we have not had that number pop up at all this week. And I like that it's being shared with um, the King of Swords. So that four card is our Emperor. Balanced, um, between masculine and feminine, strong leader, king, good father. Um, and then all the numbers added up on for Saturday is 20. And 20 is the um, judgment card, which is bringing things to a close, to an end, which echoes back to the death card. So on this coming Saturday, lots of endings, lots of closures, and there's probably going to be some people exiting the planet and a lot of animals. You know, I work with animals and they are more and more, they're just like, um, my contract is done. Or, and the humans, are, you know, accept it, love them, cherish every moment you have and had with them, and, you know, release them when you feel like it's ready, when you're ready. And they'll hold on. They'll work with you. And then also on Saturday, it also is number two, which is right back to our high priestess, um, which is right back to uh, the card I pulled on Monday. So once again, layers, layers, layers. And then the, finally, the card I pulled is the king of swords, and that is our very logical um, uh, you know, dynamic masculine men. They're the engineers, the police officers, the detectives, the architects. So that day, it's almost like we're coming into this place. And I really say that day, whew, leave all emotions out of it and just go from the logic. Go from the logic. So powerful week overall after with the numbers and looking at lots of layers, lots of repeating things, um, and just some beautiful, beautiful um, imagery. So I want to show you something. So this is our magician, as you can see um, him here. And in the traditional Rider Waite, I don't have the card to pull up, but this is the, the Terror of the New Vision. And you can see in the Terror of the New Vision, behind the magician, there's a little monkey back here. And it's interesting because that is um, kind of, echo this is part of the lesson today. So, and you may even think of like the full card. The full card, he looks so blissful, walking off the cliff, happy. But look what's way out there in front of him, a volcano erupting. So today, your lesson is when you're, when you're starting something new in this week, when you're starting something new, pause for a moment and just see if you can freeze time like they do in the Matrix and take yourself 180 degrees and look back at what you're doing. Almost like freeze frame, step out, walk around and look back 180 degrees back at yourself, how you're acting, how you, what you're saying, and just look at who you are, how you're moving through life, who's around you, how you're dressed, you know, what your demeanor, what the words, everything about you. Just take a 180 degree look at yourself. And you can even look at a what I call a hot spot over the last couple of days where you're either overly joyous or overly pissed off or, or just a hot spot where the emotions were high. Freeze frame that moment in your mind, walk around 180 degrees and look back and go, wow, okay. Because the perspective will just take you to another level of enlightenment, of growth, of um, personal vibration. It is my intention that it would if you allow it to. You may not even see anything. I hope that you will see, you know, just how people, you know, see you, view you, and that you can look at yourself from a different perspective, from a higher self, from a subconscious level, from a very conscious level, if you will. So that's the lesson for today. Powerful, long, wonderful lesson this week. Check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org. That wonderful spread that I got from Mary Kay Mitchell is still up. Um, at this point, I can't guarantee I will get through if you p get through that spread and delivered back to you before I come back from my vacation. Um, but you can try. If you're not in a rush, then go ahead and, and purchase that because um, I still got quite a few to work through right now. But I have this weekend and next weekend. 
some of the nights I'm doing them, um, uh, which I typically don't. I save that for family time. So have an amazing day. Namaste to you. Intuitivemessenger.org. Check out the brand new um, uh, series, the interview series I did. First one out there. Talk to you after a while. Tomorrow, Blog Talk Radio tonight. Kim Rinaldi, me and Jamie the Psychic are on tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Thank you.